Hi friends, Yesterday Mech Arena has published a new dev vlog, episode number 4 in their channel. So in this video I will tell you about all the features which are going to add up in the game soon. Number 1, New Gameplay Mode. A new free for all game mode is going to come in the game soon, in this game mode 10 players will spawn randomly, and the one who will survive till the end will win the match. The idea sounds like 1 vs 9, but don't worry because you will recover your HP, after you will kill one enemy mech successfully. Number 2, Battle Pass. If you are among the players who spend money in games, then this feature is specially for you. A new Battle Pass feature is going to release in the game soon, and here, there will be two rewards section, one section will be free, so free to play players will also receive few more rewards from the game, but the another premium section will have more valuable rewards than the first one, and you can only access the premium section after purchasing the premium pass. You will receive points for your battle pass after completing its given tasks, and each season will stay for 4 weeks. Number 3, New Mechs. Two new mechs are going to release in the game soon. The first one is Stalker. Stalker will be a attacker type mech, with a unique ability which will help him to deal more percent of damage, and it will also get 10% of his HP back for killing an enemy's mech, while his ability is on. Also it will be going to be a rare type of mech, which means his rank will start from 3 stars, and it will be going to be the first attacker mech with medium energy capacity, which means his energy limit will start from 12, and it can be increased to 24, after it is upgraded on its max level. The second mech is Hadazo. His ability will help him to jump, and when it will land back to the ground, he will slow down his nearby enemies and also cause some damage to them. It will also going to be a rare type of mech, but he will comes under light mechs, which means his energy limit will start from 8, which will increase to 16, when upgraded to its max level. It will be a support type mech. And both of this mech is for mid-game players. Also developers are still working on Hadazo, so it will come after Stalker is released. Number 4, New Maps. Two new CPC maps are going to come soon. The first one is Imperial Temple, and the second one will be called as Site 313. Both of these map will have three beacon points instead of usual five. Alright, only this much has informed to us in the vlog, and I know now you all want to know the date when these updates will be released. Honestly I don't have any idea related to the updates, but I think the first update is going to release maybe in the ending of November or in the first part of December. And in first update we will see two new CPC maps, and only one new mech stalker, the battle pass might also come in the first update. But as the developers said, that they are still working on free for all game mode, and Hadazo, so both of these things will come in another update, maybe next year, in January. So that's all for this video, make sure to like this video if you like the new mech stalker, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for getting more information about the upcoming updates.